Antibiotic resistance is often likened to a ticking time bomb. But what can be done to prevent it going off? BMJ TV talks to Otto Kars, professor in infectious diseases at Uppsala University, Sweden, about the dangers posed by bacterial resistance. We also ask him what action needs to be taken to prevent the dawn of a new pre-antibiotic era. Ever since penicillin came about in the late 40s and early 50s, and the number of new drugs that were developed in the 50s and 60s, due to that, I think we've been trapped in, in, in a, some kind of self-deception that uh, bacterial infections like blood infections, pneumonia, wound infections will ever be going to be treated, and we will have treatment for, for these uh, infections. But, um, so I think we've been really naive and, and complacent. Uh, it's really frustrating to go back to what Fleming, Alexander Fleming said in his Nobel speech uh, when he got the Nobel Prize in 1945. He warned, warned already at that time uh, res for resistance developing uh, uh, with, with the uh, inappropriate use of, of antibiotics and, and now we're here. So uh, I, I think that's, uh, that's partly sort of, we haven't been looking uh, severely uh, on this problem. We have been using antibiotics not only in human medicine but also in veterinary medicine and in livestock production, which has created uh, a lot of resistance, resistant bacteria and, and resistance genes uh, in, in our human bodies, in our normal flora, and in the environment. So we have a large gene pool now, which is traveling globally. Uh, so I think that what is needed is really to get away from, from the war metaphor and, and to try to restore the balance instead between human, human and microbes. And we have to be very cautious uh, for, the, for the future. I believe that the problem of antibiotic resistance is much bigger and much more severe than, than, than most people understand, really. Uh, because we have been misusing these drugs for so many years, uh, and industry is now not delivering new drugs, and, and this just doesn't fit. Uh, so what is happening is that uh, there is an increased uh, health and economic burden in, in the whole world. Uh, there is um, uh, cost for health care, there is mortality, and morbidity and, and the burden of, of antibiotic resistance falls unproportionately, uh, unproportionately uh, to, on, the, on the poor countries. Because antibiotics should be used in just short courses, uh, there is uh, resistance coming along sooner or later, and uh, the market is fairly low, and, and we don't want these drugs to be used inappropriately. So in comparison to other areas uh, in medicine, like chronic diseases, blood pressure, where patients have taken drugs uh, every day for the rest of their lives, uh, the return of investment for antibiotics is, is quite low. So I, I don't think really that the, 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 the market economy will, will solve this in, in the short term. There need to be a very strong public involvement in this issue. We need uh, public involvement in, in regulatory uh, and, and financial incentives. Well, I think that uh, presently there is a very weak uh, uh, leadership on the global level for, for, for this important issue. And I think it's appropriate uh, now for WHO to uh, resource and fund uh, the uh, global strategy that was in fact uh, published already in 2001. The ultimate responsibility and accountability falls with the national governments because this is a severe public health issue. Uh, and governments need to organize uh, actions against antibiotic resistance. Uh, there needs to be an, an action plan and a coordinated plan. I would not be surprised that in the, f in the near future there will also be a call for action on the United Nations level, uh, like, like uh, we have seen now for the climate change problem. Well, many patients have been used to get antibiotics for very mild diseases uh, like sore throat, cough and so on, where they really are, are not effective or have very marginal effects. So I think it will take a long time uh, uh, to, to, to change that behavior, but we have to start that process now and we have to speed it up as, as, as much as possible. So I think we have to, to, to talk with patients and educate patients. I think patients have a very important part of this solution.